want to turn off our emotions about infertility, we end up just turning off our emotions about everything. So you might in your marriage, if you're, you know, struggling to conceive and in the middle of this battle, and you might think like, why do I feel unhappy at work? Yes. Why do that I feel... was a huge aha moment for me. How yeah. much I had dialed down everything and I hadn't, I, I couldn't see the joy in any situation. Yeah. Why do I not feel connected in our sexual relationship? Yeah. In our relationship, why do we not have fun anymore? Yes. Why do I feel dull about like house projects? Why do I feel dull about my friendships? Yes. It's, Anxiety, yes. depression. Yes. It's because of... The biggest piece of advice to keep yeah. it sexy is there is going to be a window where it's the fertile window. And there is mm. going to be a window where it's like, perform, mm -hmm. get yeah. naked, let's do this. And so <laughs> I would say that that time you probably just need to mm. cock it up to be like, yep, this is what we're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, and it yeah. is kind of a chore. And I feel like every other time maybe yeah. to have it more be a sexy time and have it more where you're not thinking about that. It's so hard as a woman, especially yes. though, to not be thinking about that. But there really mm. is a fertile window. There really that's, is that's a window. And good. so mm. instead of putting pressure that that has to be sexy. It's okay if it is. It's fine. Yeah. But it, instead of it being like, oh, this has to be sexy. Let's not overthink this. It's like, mm -hmm. no, you're going to be overthinking it in that moment yeah. because mm -hmm. that's your window. That's your time. And then it's almost like you can put that there. And then all the other times that you have sex, that can be the sexy time and that yeah. can be the fun time. And you can relax. Kind of really getting our needs and getting those needs met is really the cornerstone. Grief and that are the cornerstones of how you become resilient during infertility. You're gonna go through so much on this process, or maybe you have been through so much. Your sex life will change. Going to the doctor is a crazy experience. Yep. Um, the tests that you'll take, the transfers that you'll do, so many things. You have Even to be just able... trying every month and not doing oh my any gosh, of those yes, things totally. is agonizing and really hard and traumatic. The waiting, all of it. You don't have to be in treatment to feel this way either. Right. You know? I mean, you could even you could just even be anticipating that this is what you might have to go right. through, and even that is crazy. But what has to happen throughout all of these things is a free transfer of what you need. You need to be able to communicate what you need. I need you to listen to me. I need you to just be with me. Mm -hmm. I need you to encourage me and help me make these decisions. If we don't feel equal, it will we, never won't, we won't ask for those things. We will, we will be viewing ourselves as not worthy of asking them or not able to ask them. So we gotta- When you're hurting in your marriage, it can feel overwhelming. And sometimes you just need a guide to walk you through the step-by-step -step process to bring healing back to your relationship. That's why you need to become a member today to Marriage 365, where you can watch more of these helpful videos and find tools that are gonna work for you.